A media query um, is a special type of CSS rule that lets us check on the size of a device or the type of a device and then change up what CSS rules are actually being applied to a page. So it lets us actually um, adjust our CSS rules for, say, a laptop versus a tablet versus a phone. So um, the idea behind media queries is that grids are great and our flexible grid is nicely um, acting sort of like an accordion if I am using percentages instead of pixels to make my page adjust. But if we're talking about taking something that's made for a laptop and squishing it down to the screen for a phone, um, then having all that content still sit next to each other may make um, the design pretty smushed and hard to look at. So we could use media queries as a way to knock down certain sections if the screen gets um, below a certain width. And here's kind of the general syntax for what a media query looks like. So unlike a typical uh, CSS rule, this guy starts with always at media. And then you have options. You can use the word not to um, say uh, do this when it's not this kind of device, or you can say only to say do this when it's only this kind of device, and both of these are actually optional, and you can just work with dimensions if you want, um, but if you use one of these two words, then your possible values for media type that go right here are um, all for any device, print for printer, so you can actually make a style sheet that defines what the page should look like if someone hits the print button and prints it out. And you may have had this experience yourself where you're looking at a web page that has like many, many colors and a background color. And when you go to print it, it actually just prints the text as black. Um, the way that they're accomplishing this may be with the media type of print. Okay. Um, another thing you can put here is screen, which means for computer, tablet, or phone, or speech for screen readers. So you can specify specific rules for those types as well. And then here we've got the word and, and in parentheses we can put some expressions and we'll get to what those look like um, in just a second. So this is for if you have um, a set of CSS rules that are inside your page and you just want to add this to the list of your rules, um, it kind of looks like this. Uh, but what if you have an external style sheet um, with your sets of rules and you actually want to attach different style sheets based on the kind of device or the size of the device that you're looking at. Well, here's what this looks like. So it's going to be a link to a style sheet. Um, and here is our media rule again. And here you can put media type, um, which is the same as that list from before with print screen, etc. And then you have optional words and not and only and then in parentheses, you will put a media feature and we'll see what again, what that list looks like later. And then in that case, here's what you're saying. You're saying attach this style sheet. So you would have multiple of these defining different conditions um, for the size of screen that you want to let attach different kinds of sheets. And you would have different sheets for each of those devices. Okay. So what can you put inside those parentheses? Like what are the common expressions? Well, these are probably going to be the most useful to you. You can say, um, do this up to a maximum height of some amount of pixels or a maximum width of some amount of pixels, which means that the rule that you're going to apply will, will be applied to devices up until they hit this number. Okay. Alternatively, you can do it the opposite way. You can say, display this until something is shrunk down to a minimum height or a minimum width of some area. So you can define for larger, and then as it shrinks down, you can change up what your styles are applied when it crosses a particular threshold. So let's look at an example here. I've got a page down here um, with a body and a paragraph with some text in it. I have defined a general style rule for my body that makes the background color light green. And then I've written a media query here. So I want to apply this media query only if we're talking about screens and only if the max width crosses 500 pixels. And in that case, then I'm going to switch the background color for the body to light blue. So what does that mean? That means if I take this window, and it's a little hard to tell because I've shrunk this down to fit on this slide here. If I take this window and I keep shrinking it down to make it skinnier, um, when it crosses that 500 pixel mark, it's going to now have a light blue background. 
Um, so obviously this is just easy visually to see. Um, it doesn't make that much sense to switch colors based on sizes, but it let, does let you see what's going on. This is more um, for like positioning where stuff is on the page and its widths um, to accommodate small devices. Okay, so what this is really useful for um, is to make break points. So the idea is at certain sizes, we're gonna break down the design to shift pieces around. So here's a quick little visual display of that over here on the right. I've got um, a, a page, it has like a heading section, a footing section, some kind of navigation. On um, the main content, it would be here, and then some kind of panel for extra information. So on a laptop or a desktop computer, everything's spread out like that. Um, if I go to a tablet, then you'll see the changes that this sidebar just gets knocked down. So it's not like smushed left to right um, on a skinnier screen. And if I go even smaller to a phone, then everything is shifted to take up its own position on the screen. So how do you do something like that? Well, the first thing that we wanna think about is it's actually best practices to design for mobile first. So you think about your phone first instead of thinking about your computer screen first. Um, and then we can say in our breakpoint rules, if the screen hits this size, then change it instead of if it gets smaller, change it. Okay. So let's look at an example that has a breakpoint. Okay. So just to give you an idea of what my website looks like, um, this is actually the, the sort of layout that's from those pictures a second ago. Um, I have a page. It's got like a header section, um, and then I have a row defined. I'm using a grid here. I've got a column three class that is my menu of, of things. There will be links. I've got a six column class that's my main content, and then a three column class that is my sidebar on the right hand side, and then down at the bottom, I have a footer. So I've got these grid class. Um, columns defined. So let's look at the CSS. Okay. So I'm going to follow the rule. I'm going to define for mobile first. So if it's a phone, I want all of these items to simply be one after another on the page. And so I've labeled this with some little comment for mobile phones only. I'm selecting all classes that begin with a column hyphen. And this is very easy. All I'm doing is setting width to 100%. That way they will all take up the entire width of the screen and they will look like this. Okay. So that takes care of my phone first. And then I'm going to write a media query to detect the break point where I should display more. Um, in this example, I'm just going to go straight to laptop computer. Um, so here I've got my app media. I'm saying do this only for screens and do it when the minimum width is 768 pixels. So that's kind of like the minimum resolution that's gonna be a, a, a laptop screen or a desktop screen, okay? And in that case, I'm gonna switch back to my usual rules for defining a 12 column layout. Um, so we've seen this before. And then when my screen resolution, using the, the based on the device I'm looking at or the size of the browser window I'm dragging around, gets above 768, I'm going to get my layout like this, where the three items in the middle are sitting next to each other. Okay. So you can add additional breakpoints for tablets in the middle. Um, this is just for simplicity's sake. I only showed you two. Okay. So there's some useful things that you should probably take a look at. There are examples of responsive design that uses media queries at this address. So if you open up the um, slideshow for yourself, you can click that link and go to it. Um, this is also another very useful thing, which is to test um, pages at different resolutions. So if you have a page and you want to see what it looks like on a mobile phone, but you don't have one available while you're designing, you can go to this website and it will test for you. It will say if you shrink the page down to this size, here's what it looks like. 